Hello folks and uh, welcome back to Master Baiter Fishing Tutorials. Um, today we're going to tie a size 12 scruffy suspender buzzer. Okay. What you're going to need is you're going to need a size 12 buzzer hook that you've got in the vise. You're going to need a 5mm cylinder um, drilled. So basically what I've done is I've took my cutters and I've drilled a 5mm cylinder into my foam which I'll show you a video on how to do that if you don't already do that or if you buy them in and that's fair dues. I'm also going to use some um, Mirage tinsel, uh, opal again and medium just for the rib and I'm going to use this thing here, this is a blob and buzzer and this is their UV buggy nymph range today I'm going to use UV dark olive there we go because it's got a real nice effect here um, in there all of 80 thread there we go and I'm just going to start off so again this has not got to be too tidy so I'm just going to start off on here and I'm going to finish up right about a mil back from the eye of the hook I'm then going to take my little foam cylinder that I've got and I'm going to cut the edges off almost as if you're forming a booby eye just so there's no sharp edges okay now some people like to just have the top hat style but I like to um, get the burner out and uh, burn this so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the flame like that and I'm just going to pop it in for two seconds and then roll it into my fingers and then what will happen as you'll see you've got a nice round ball okay when you tie that in onto the end of the hook there we go put that on lay it on the top and then pull down you'll get a rounded so when that sits it'll sit just inside the surface film so you then pull the tail end and then cut away so that you've got a little bit here. You then tidy this bit up and that's you pop the suspender ball on there. So next I'm going to take my opal tinsel and I'm going to tie that on the side of the hook and I'm just going to go down right to where the hook starts to become straight. There we go. And I'm just going to lay myself ready for the dubbing. And I'm going to tease out some the UV dark olive buggy nymph. Now you just need a little bit of this. There we go there. And you're just going to dub it on. You don't need, I, w I wouldn't put waxes on this or anything like that. When you dub, make sure you twist the same way. If you twist back and forward, it doesn't dub properly. So you're just trying to create a nice tapered body. There we go. And you can just tighten that up as well if you need to. And you're trying to keep that nice and thin. Just pop some more dubbing in there. Again, with dubbing less is more. You get a nice better effect if you don't have a lot of dubbing on there. And I'm going to come up to just behind where the foam stops. There we go. And then I'm going to take my rib, I'm going to do one turn underneath and then I'm going to come up through and then equal spacing on the turns. You can open it up a wee bit as you get further up to the top, however I like it nice and equal. I like my flies to be neat, I know this is a scruffy buzzer but I like it to be neat. So tie that off. You're then going to come in with your scissors and just take that away. And you're then going to get the same dubbing. Just pull a wee fibre out there. And then just dub on exactly the same as you've dubbed the body. But you're going to do a bigger sort of thorax area. And you're just going to come back over a wee bit of and make it nice. So you'll see you've just got an extended bit in here. Get rid of a couple of the big fibres. They just get annoying. There we go. The way I finish these off, 
it's pretty straightforward. You get your uh, your varnish and you just pop it onto the uh, thread. You do a couple of turns, one, two, three, and then go into your whip finish. Two, three, four. And then just pull down, just making sure that you're quite scruffy and take away the tag end. Effectively, that is it. And that is a real fish layer as well. Um, real easy, simple to tie. You can tie them in black, olive, you can tie them in red, claret. Claret works really well. Um, pinks, everything. If you've got a dub and brush, you can come in and you can kind of tease the fibres out just so it's got that buggy look about it. Um, just be careful on the, the ribbon and stuff like that. Um, there. However, that is essentially your scruffy buzzer suspender. And this will just sit in the surface film. Just like that, and the fish will come up and they'll absolutely hammer that. They love the pearl um, inside it as well as the, the olive. Okay, again, um, thank you for watching, and if you like what you've seen, subscribe and we'll uh, get some more videos up.